Hello, this is Bhargav Mistri from the Arch College of Design and Business, Jaipur. Design culture is uh, the department that I handle. And I'd like to tell you a little about design culture. What is design culture? Design as such, one understands that it's uh, making things, objects, systems, communication devices or uh, graphics or films. It, it covers a very wide range, even from like clothing to pottery to machines to even uh, user interface. In order to do this, it's extremely important to understand several things like let's say first exactly what do we want to achieve who will be our users and what sort of experience will the users have while they utilize this product or device or system and when we do that several other elements of design will come into picture like functionality, ergonomics, aesthetics, how easily one can make it and of course most important the kind of experience it gives us while using it. Now design culture is about not looking at design from as a, as a specific, as, a, uh, as an island or as a detached subject and trying to impose it on various uh, applications. But design culture is basically about imbibing this. Now, what do we mean by imbibing it? I mean, it becomes a way of life, not consciously attempting to design, no. But whatever task we perform, whatever communication we do, whichever way we transact, some kind of uh, communication or travel or write or cook or play music or tell a story. The basic elements of design are within your system and you don't have to consciously think about it. It just comes out. So how to make that into a culture or a way of life? I prefer to call it designability, the ability to design in a most natural way. Now this can, uh, we personally feel, I personally feel, can best come if the training is given right from youth, meaning I'm talking about uh, you know, class 6 onwards, one pursues the education further, one is able to relate all the subjects that one learns and instead of considering them as, uh, as you know, things uh, which we must do in order to get good marks, no, that's not the point. The point is to how, what utility do you get out of it? What importance is that particular subject, call it mathematics, call it social science, geography, history. So when one goes for further education, you know, engineering, medicine, design, architecture or social sciences, whatever you take up, that element of design culture is already built in. At this juncture, let me sign off. This is Bhargav Mistri once again. I welcome you to the world of design culture. I wish to join with you, or you joining us in uh, exploring this world further. Once again, Bhargav Mistri from the Arts College of Design and Business. Thank you.